So over the past several years, there's been a lot of discussion about the long-term use of a certain class of drugs called proton pump inhibitors. These are, PP, these are known as PPIs. These drugs have been around for over 30 years and are excellent uh, at controlling acid reflux and controlling symptoms. Many patients depend on this uh, for chronic control of heartburn as well as to prevent damage to the lining of their esophagus. Uh, unfortunately, as with all medications, there are adverse effects. Some of the common ones are diarrhea, headaches, uh, abdominal pain, but the ones that are more concerning are from the long-term use. And I like to break these down into two categories. One that is rel relatively accepted as being a cause and effect relationship. Um, things like vitamin B12 deficiency, magnesium depletion, or enteric gut infections. The other, those are the ones that you hear about where there's an increased risk for bone fractures, uh, kidney failure, dementia. Now those are not generally accepted as being related directly to PPIs. There may be an association. Um, and that's because these studies that establish this are based on what they call observational studies or retrospective studies. And these are limited. They have inherent biases. Um, so what we do to ask is patients sit down with their gastroenterologist or their esophageal specialist and weigh out the pros and cons, try to come up with the lowest effective dose that will work for their symptoms, and take that opportunity to discuss other alternatives such as endoscopic therapy for reflux or surgical therapy for reflux.